Welcome to the Mitchcraft lovely tiny house on wheels. It is safe to say there are as many different styles of tiny houses as there are builders and people to inhabit their creations. This incredible 18 feet long Mitchcraft tiny house known as the Bookworm is a case in point. It features all the golden wood colors one would expect to find from a builder located in Laporte, Co., a few miles north of Fort Collins, in the heart of the Rocky Mountains. This home on wheels even has a kind of a western outpost feel to it. But it is also one of the busiest designs you could ever find in a tiny house, full of architectural features that you will have to see for yourself. Let's have a look. What looks like a cluttered home above is really an ingenious mix of features from the rounded awning over the front door, the side door, really, to the extended lofts to the tall dormer that adds extra space to the upstairs bedroom. Here's another view that gives you a better look at the dormer. You can also see the back end from here, which also has a second story extension. This is the interior with a view shot from the kitchen. That's a full size door, so there's no need to squeeze through, like other tiny homes that save space with thin doors. You can also see the two bedrooms from here the downstairs bed with the red pillow and the bedroom loft upstairs. Behind the interior door is the bathroom. All the shelving nooks make this bedroom, above, all the cozier. There are plenty of windows, which can be cranked open for fresh air. The shelves add tons of personality to the room. Get a load of this kitchen. Wow! For a tiny house, this kitchen is huge and it seems to fit everything you could need. The refrigerator isn't full size, but it's close. The window behind the sink is A. The three burner stove is handy. And everything from pots and pans to knives to the coffee pot are all within reach. To the right is the tiny breakfast table. Above is a look at the kitchen cabinets, which are actually sliding drawers. This style of cabinet drawer is popular in tiny houses, not because they fit more stuff, but because they work well when the house is in tow. These drawers are also popular in boats that do a lot of rocking and rolling. This home is full of eclectic clutter, above. Makes in a home don't you think? And speaking of eclectic, the bathroom sink is charming, especially so when it is set into a non-trimmed corner shelf. And there's a cost-saving faucet idea, too. When you see an almost flat ceiling like this in a tiny home loft, it indicates there are dormers that lift the shoulders of the roof line. You can see the standard roof line in the triangle shape at the head of the bed. By lifting both shoulders, look at how much extra room is possible. Enough for all those cabinets and shelves on either side of the room. Above is the bedroom loft extension from the exterior view. This is actually the front of the trailer. This shower is not constrained by the sizes available in store bought shower setups. Let's define a feature as something you didn't need, but it's terrific to have, anyway. The rounded awning above the door is a case in point. Tiny houses often don't have added features like this one because items that stick out of the side of the house are not considered safe for the road. This awning, presumably, would be removed for long journeys. But when the house is sitting still, it's a generous extra.